Oh my god, you guys. Jeffree Star went on Logan Paul's podcast yesterday and he finally addressed the big cancellation that happened like two years ago now. He talked about James Charles, he talked about Tati Westbrook, and even blamed her and James for ruining the beauty community. He also talked about Shane Dawson and why he thinks he got canceled. We have a lot to talk about and it's a mess, so let's get into it. Jeffree Star getting into drama used to be a weekly occurrence. There was one point where Jeffree was probably the most talked about person on drama channels. Every week he was getting himself into drama, dragging someone on Twitter, or just being messy for the sake of being messy. But ever since Jeffree moved to Wyoming and opened up his Staryak ranch, we haven't really seen that side of him. He isn't in drama, he stopped posting as much, and he isn't being messy on Twitter. A lot has changed. That's why I was kind of surprised when I saw Jeffrey go on Logan Paul's impulsive podcast. The episode was titled Jeffrey Star on Hooking Up with Kanye West, Fall of Shane Dawson, and James Charles. But now it's been changed to say Jeffrey Star on Hooking Up with Kanye West, Fall of Shane Dawson. So they removed James from the title. I don't know why they removed him because Jeffrey talked about James and Tati and the downfall of the beauty community. I'm going to take a little bit of a wild guess and say maybe James messaged Logan and asked him to change the title because it sounds like James is going to be releasing his makeup line soon and maybe he didn't want all the drama to be brought back up again. Well, too bad because it was. Logan asked Jeffrey why he doesn't make as much content anymore and Jeffrey said the beauty community is kind of dead. You don't really make that much content anymore, do you? Or am I tripping? I upload, I think, maybe three or four times a month now. That's not that much. No. But I used to be like, eh, there was just so much going on, too, in life. This is before COVID. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then now, because you're launching other businesses, yes. is that why you continue to make YouTube? Do you still love it? I enjoy making content, but I think beauty overall on YouTube is, is kind of dead. A little bit. <laughs> Jeffrey said the reason the beauty community died is because of all the drama, all the strong personalities, and just how chaotic everything got. Oh, a little yeah. bit. Why? Why is that? All the drama, all the craziness, all the personalities, and it was just... It, it just it, got no fun, huh? It, it got so unfun. So toxic. So toxic, yeah. so dark and ugly. <clears throat> Here's where things get interesting. Jeffrey said all those people are awful and blame their downfall on people villainizing them because they had the biggest launch in makeup history. All those people were awful. And they wanted to villainize me because me and Shane were the most successful. We had the biggest launch in makeup history. And this is just being so straight, like man to man, not tooting my own horn. But it was so cool. And people got mad at how successful we got. And they stirred up so people many. People throw rocks up. They don't throw rocks down. And they got and they didn't like how big we won. So all the beauty people got angry and tried to take us down. You know, it's like a whole. It's it's dark. Now I'm gonna have to disagree. During Shane's documentary and the build up to the conspiracy collection launching, people loved Shane and Jeffrey. Of course, there were people who weren't fans, but for the most part, everyone loved them. We were just coming out of the biggest drama that's ever happened involving Jeffrey, which was By Sister. Tati released By Sister in 2019, Jeffrey joined in and called James a danger to society, and he claimed to have a voice memo from someone that would pretty much end James's career. James ended up releasing No More Lies in response to everything being said, and at the time, he pulled a huge Uno reverse on everyone. Tati got canceled for trying to cancel young James Charles, Jeffrey got canceled for calling James a danger but showing no proof, and Shane got canceled by inserting himself into the situation. Shortly after that, Shane and Jeffrey did their big documentary on what was supposed to be the beauty community, but it ended up being all about the conspiracy palette. In the trailer, Shane showed himself crying and being really emotional over by sister. He showed drama videos about James's cancellation, so obviously you would think that would mean they'd be covering the drama. The drama was such a huge part of the beauty community, so it only made sense really. Plus, a lot of people were left so confused after No More Lies. People wanted to know who was telling the truth, people wanted to know what this voice note was, and if James was truly a danger. But when it came down to it, the whole series was just about the conspiracy palette. Like, every single episode. When it came time for the last episode, which should have involved the drama, Shane backed out and said he didn't want to do it. 
He said he was on this high from his palette selling out and he was just so happy and he didn't want to bring up drama that everyone was already over. I don't know. I don't want to leave people feeling weird because I feel weird. I don't know. I should have never put the drama in the trailer. I should have never done that. And I did it because it was what I thought the series was. And even the launch day footage doesn't make me feel happy on a super real note. It's really stressful. It's really hard to watch. It's really weird and kind of sad. And yeah, we sell out at the end of the episode, but like, it's like a lot. It's like very stressful to even edit. It's like hard to even edit. It's like a lot. So I'm just feeling kind of like, I just want to like be happy right now. Is that like, I don't know. But the community didn't want that. We wanted the drama. No one had moved on. The community was still a mess. Tati was getting tons of hate. People wanted the truth. It made people feel just a little bit played. Like we all watched this series waiting for the situation to be addressed. We watched Shane do his palette. Everyone bought it. He made millions and just opted out. I think that's when the switch started happening. After Shane made tons of money from the palette, he kind of stepped away from the beauty community. He wasn't publicly showing a huge interest in makeup, and it made people feel like it might have been a cash grab. Then in 2020, the big cancellation happened. After collabing with Jeffrey, Shane had a lot more eyes on him. It was no longer the people that just grew up watching Shane. He had a whole new audience too. Shane talked about this in a recent podcast. He said he feels like since his name was in the news so much, more people were looking him up and then digging into his past and bringing up all these old clips. Then to top it all off, Tati came back from her break and dropped a video saying Shane and Jeffrey pushed her to make that video on James. James, I am so sorry that I allowed myself to be poisoned and weaponized against you. I'm sorry that I bought into any of their lies. Believing those lies and allowing myself to be gaslit into making that video is one of the biggest regrets of my life. I should have tried harder to reach you over those concerns in person. And I'm sorry for giving up on you. Of course, the internet completely exploded after that and Shane's cancellation really got put into motion. This is insane. This is insane. This woman is a f Oh my God. So I don't think the beauty community ended just because Jeffrey and Shane had a successful palette and everyone was hating on them. I do think that brought a lot more attention to them and people started digging around, but they weren't canceled because of jealousy. Like I said, people were loving them during that time. They sold out for a reason, their website crashed for a reason. After months full of drama, this series got people excited again and it kind of put the fun back into the beauty community. As for Jeffrey saying the community is dead, I think the beauty community is very much still alive. Just because Jeffrey and Shane are out of it doesn't mean it's not still around. I think TikTok really changed the way a lot of us consume our content. Beauty gurus on TikTok started to blow up and they replaced the older beauty gurus on YouTube. There's still people making beauty content. There just isn't that much drama surrounding it, which should be a good thing. Jeffrey also went on to say that the James and Tati stuff is the reason the community is dead. The James and Tati stuff. Yeah. That was what ruined the beauty community. Mm. <sighs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. And then you that you was the uh, atom bomb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When and you then, when you joined in, I think that's when it, we it, knew it, it was, was getting serious. Oh yeah, it was really crazy. Mm -hmm. Once again, I don't think it's dead. The people that were just always in drama or getting canceled either had to wake up and change their ways, or they pulled back. Speaking of being canceled, though. Jeffrey also talked about how he deals with the hate and people trying to cancel him. Logan asked him if he had any advice for people who deal with hate and can't be themselves because of it. And Jeffrey said, you just need to not care. Everyone. So what do you say to people now who might be struggling with any sort of identity issues? But you really just have to get over the hump of caring what anyone else thinks. And there's no magic potion. I wish I could like give it out. You just have to do you always. And I don't know why people are so worried what everyone else thinks especially with cancel culture right no one no one's doing shit. yeah everyone's afraid to say one wrong thing so that's why i've always just cared 
So far, all the comments under the episode are all pretty positive. Here's what people had to say. Jeffrey has such an interesting life. He could be on several impulsive episodes and never get boring. Honestly, Jeffrey is literally the most interesting person out there. Super intellectual and just so real. This was such a good episode. Gained a lot of respect for Jeffrey. Definitely interesting to see all the positive feedback the episode got, especially since Jeffrey talked about the beauty community and all the drama that happened. Normally, that can bring a lot of strong opinions, but for the most part, it seems like people really enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Did you agree with what Jeffrey was saying about the beauty community being dead and them getting canceled over jealousy? Or do you have a little bit of a different opinion? Let me know and I'll see you next time.